Mm. I might have just become religious. My religion is bagels. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dakota. I'm Sarah. And we're out here with a very important mission. Mm -hmm. New York City has a lot of bagel shops. You can find one pretty much on every corner. And thank God for that. True. The problem is we don't know which one is the best. If you're coming from out of town, you don't want to waste time going to hundreds of bagel places. You want to know right away, where do I go to get the bagel? And that's why we're doing the quest for the best bagel in New York City. So Sarah, what are you looking for in a good bagel? Oh, so many things. One thing is the size. You want a nice big bagel in New York. It's not gonna be sad, smushed, grocery store size bagel. It's a mouthful. You can tell if a bagel's good just kind of by looking at it. Yeah. Outside of a bagel, you want it to be a little bit shiny and you want it to have those little bubbles that come from when you boil okay. the bagel. One thing I do look for is like a nice dark caramel color. I feel like that's what you want from a nice, well-cooked, bagel, yum yum in my tongue. Also very important to the perfect New York bagel is the sound it makes when you bite into it. So it should be a, a crunch smoosh. We've chosen five of the best places that New York has to offer. Yeah. All of these places are top tier bagel shops. Oh, I'm hungry. I want to eat them. Okay, let's go. All right. My name is Philip. I'm the owner of the Bagel Hole in Brooklyn, Park Slope. We started the Bagel Hole back in 1985, and it was me and my brother as my partner. We used the best ingredients. We used the original bagel recipe from like 100 years ago, and I like to say I put a lot of love into my product. We use really the best ingredients there are. We're baking all day long, so bagels are constantly coming out every 20 minutes, every half hour. We hand roll them, we let them sit overnight. We have the hot water in the kettle, it's boiling. We put the couple of dozen in there, we scoop them out, we put the bagels on the boards with the burlap, then we bake them. After like two minutes, you flip them, and then they finish baking for another 10, 12 minutes. So we're here at our first spot, and that's Bagel Hole here in Park Slope. Park Slope is actually my old hood, so I think I have to admit something. I've been here a lot. So you like it? Yeah. This is the first bagel. It's an everything bagel with plain cream cheese. Oh. It's radiating. It's still warm. I'm just admiring mine. Oh, that's a good way to start your day. I don't even want to talk about it, I just want to eat it. It's a bit uneven in the coloring. A really nice dark yeah. caramel color on the bottom. So this bagel's a little smaller than I'd anticipated. It's got a nice, like, kind of hard crust. Mm. Really good crunch. That is, the sound is great on this one. And it's not often with an everything bagel that you can really taste the garlic, mm -hmm. but I actually really like that that garlic flavor is coming through pretty, yeah, pretty strongly. Yeah, garlic tastes good. Mm -hmm. Just, you're not gonna get many kisses afterwards, but I don't care, I got a bagel. Bagels over boys. So this is an egg bagel with scallion cream cheese. This is what they, they recommend it within the bagel hole. The nice thing about this one, right off the bat, I can see bubbles all over the top. Mm. Mm. Do you hear that great sound? Mm. This one in terms of like the perfect crispiness to oh, yeah. like the soft biting in ratio, it's perfect. If anything on both of these bagels, what would you improve? Can I have more of them please? You just want a second one. Yeah, I want a second one. That's fair. That was a very You inhaled start. that. You inhaled I it. I love that bagel. Oh my god. Well, let's go to our next bagel place. I'm gonna get another one to go. Okay, get another one then I'm we're a hungry one. Then we're gonna go to another So my name is Christopher Puglisi, and I'm the owner and operator of Tompkins Square Bagels. We're located in the East Village in New York City. We've been here since 2011. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. I met my wife. She lived here in the East Village, and she had me bringing her bagels constantly from Brooklyn. And I realized, like, hey, wait a second. We don't have a bagel store in the East Village. And that's how it happened. We're doing things a very like traditional, sort of old-fashioned way. I got the recipe for my bagels from a fellow who opened his shop in 76, 77. 
2007. The industry became more about cutting corners to sort of like make as much as you can. We took a chance that spending a little more would pay off, and it did. All the bagels are hand rolled individually with traditional ingredients like using barley malt as a sweetener instead of table sugar. Every bagel uh, starts out in our dough mixer downstairs. Uh, when we're done prepping our dough, they're hand rolled, they'll proof, and when they're ready to bake, we'll bring them upstairs, boil them in our kettle, uh, they'll be put on wooden planks covered with burlap, and then they'll go into our bagel oven and they'll bake for about 11 minutes. We're known for our cream cheeses. Sometimes we'll carry up to 40 at once. We in invented something called birthday cake cream cheese. We have things like the French toast bagel. We'll put eggs, brown sugar, cinnamon, uh, maple syrup, a little bit of butter. This shop is basically my love letter to the East Village. I've been coming to the East Village since I was a little kid. My friends and I would jump on the F train and sneak into the East Village. I wanted to create a place where everybody could come and feel welcome, and that happens here every day. These bagels look really good. We're gonna try out their classic everything bagel, and then we're gonna try out some of their specialty things, which, boy, do they have a lot of them. <laughs> These are gonna require a trip to the gym. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers. Right. Oh, my mm. God. You can tell there's enough cream cheese when you bite in and it gets on your nose. I have to say, I heard you take your bite, <laughs> and it sounded right. You wanna hear the crunch, because the outer layer, you want it to be a little crunchy. One thing I really liked about this, they coat the top and the bottom of the bagel with the everything topping. Mm -hmm. And I think the ratio of all of the different seeds was really good. Yeah, I read in a New York Times article, mm -hmm. said that it should be uh, four ounces or less. So let me, mm-hmm. It's good. Okay. It's got a little bit of browning. It does have some of those bubbles that you look for in a good bagel that's been boiled. Not super bubbly. And it's not the shiniest of bagels. I'm looking for shiny bagels, personally. I want a little thicker and a little more inside chewy. So now we're gonna try their more unique things. We've got so many options. Peanut butter Nutella, birthday cake, almond, mixed berry, and this is a chocolate chip cookie dough. So it's French toast with cookie dough. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. That's like a dessert bagel. I'm very much so pro that bagel. This one's my favorite. It feels like it's July 4th. We're about to watch the fireworks. Is this We're the most patriotic bagel? Oh, certainly. Birthday cake. This one scares me a little bit. I'm gonna find these in my, like, pants in a week. Why'd you put the bagel in your pants? But it is on the sweeter side, but so am I. Overall, I really enjoyed the traditional bagel. It had a good crunch to it, good ratio of cream cheese to bagel, yes. and I loved the everything toppings. It wasn't your typical everything bagel because there was more everything topping, and, and that really made it special. Bagels. Diana Dalton. I'm the executive chef and partner of Black Sea Bagels. So Black Sea Bagels is a six-year-old artisanal bagel shop that we like to say that we're kind of a hybrid between New York and Montreal bagels. The difference between a New York and Montreal bagel is Montreal is a little bit smaller in size, boiled in honey water, and it's typically a wood oven, and it's a little bit more dense than a New York bagel. New York bagels are known to be on the bigger, fluffier side. The parts we take from Montreal are the wood fire, the honey water, and a little bit of the size. What we take from the New York end is the inside. So when you first open our bagel, you'll notice that there's a nice crust and the middle is a little bit softer. Most bagels start off the same. We use a very similar product. We do like to use King Arthur flour, definitely the honey. We use it not only in the water and the actual dough itself, so it lends a little bit of sweetness. We allow it to proof overnight. We then boil it in honey water for about two to three minutes and then pop it in the wood oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes. The thing is about using a wood oven is the temperature differences. It's not gonna be as consistent as a convection oven, so I really am proud of my bakers for really understanding the nuances of a wood fire. We are somewhat traditional as far as our bagel flavors. My favorite is actually really, really simple. Right out of the oven, I literally just go in the oven and grab it with my hands, because I have baker's hands. Literally just eat the bagel by itself so I can really, really taste the dough. It's pretty, you know, amazing. You know why they're called black seeds? Um, is it because the seeds are black? That is correct. Apparently in Montreal, you order a bagel black seeds or white seeds, and that's poppy seeds or sesame seeds. Are you ready? I'm so
so ready. All right, I'm gonna go get them. Bon appetit. So we have uh, everything bagel. It's so squishy. It's much smaller too. This is a baby bagel. It's a little uneven in how um, it's cooked. Like you can see it's mm. it's much darker. So do we want to try this? Or do we yeah. want to just talk about it? Mm -hmm. It's not the the same texture at all. But I love the flavor on this one. That is what I was gonna say. It's a tiny bit sweet. And I think that's probably because they boil it in honey water. Texture wise, I think I like more of a crunch smoosh. I did miss the sound, I do really like. I've had Montreal bagels in Montreal. Yeah. And I can tell that this isn't quite the same as that. It does retain some elements of a New York bagel. Bacon, egg, and cheese is their specialty sandwich that we're trying. How often do you eat bacon, egg, and too cheese? Too often. <laughs> too often, yeah, me too. You can tell this is good because the grease has like come through the bottom of the bagel. I love bacon, egg, and cheese. Nice. The smallness of the bagel didn't bother me as much with the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. But in the sandwich, I think I want more bagel. I love the flavor of the bagel so much that I yeah. want to taste it. And I'm right now tasting primarily the bacon. It doesn't have all the attributes of a New York bagel, but it does have the ones that count most to me. It's got that nice shine you can see on the outside. It's got some of that bubbling. I had never tried a Montreal New York hybrid bagel. I'm Neither very not. pleased. I will have again, but I'm also excited to try even more bagels. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> My name is Beverly Wilpon, and this is my Essa Bagel. We have three stores. This is the original location. We used to be across the street on 21st and 1st. We wanted to stay in the neighborhood, so we opened up over here. Our bagels are very special. We have an old family recipe that we keep very, very secret. My brother, who's not here today, I wish he was, he can actually taste the bagel, and he knows if it needs a little bit more of anything. We take our time with them, and we take a lot of pride with them. The original Essa Bagel shop opened in 1970. Seventy-six, I believe. It was my dad and my aunt. We start with all natural ingredients, and we do have a, someone who comes and actually rolls the bagel by hand, so they're all mixed and rolled here. They go into a refrigerator. They proof slowly. We take them out, and they're boiled first, and then we just bake them until they're absolutely ready. We're pretty traditional here. We'll make like everything bagels, whole wheat everything, pumpernickel raisin you can't get everywhere. Our best seller is definitely the everything bagel. My favorite is the nine grain. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it that I really like. So we have quite a few cream cheese varieties and most of them we make here. One of the most unique ones is our five pepper, which is actually five hot peppers. That became super popular. Essa Bagel is a family owned business. We all care really deeply about it. I think that's part of why it's special. Do you know what Essa Bagel means? No, I don't. It's Eda Bagel in Yiddish. Oy vey. Let me get them bagels. All right, here oh. we go. This is interesting. Look where the everything is. On the bottom. On the bottom. It's a thick boy. That is a thick, thick boy. Look at that springiness. That was a really great sound. The proportions of the crunch to the doughy middle, it's perfect. It's nice because the cream cheese, it is coming out a little bit here when you squeeze it, but it's not falling out the edges. And that's something I worry about at a bagel shop sometimes is am I going to make myself messy? This color is really perfect to me. It's very golden. This bagel got a tan. I just want to call attention to the fact that this crust, like it's, very, it's distinct. There's mm -hmm. like a, a hard line between the crust and then the mantle. Mm -hmm. If you will. I thought I was going to say put the seeds everywhere, but I, I kind of comfortable with the ratio here. The everything mix mm -hmm. is a slightly different ratio here. This one is predominantly sesame seeds. As much as I love sesame seeds, I think the ratio of seeds could be a little better. This is a nine grain bagel mm -hmm. with a five, five pepper cream cheese. Oh, you can count see them. them. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a bit of a spice baby. I'm a spicy boy. I love you spice. You love spice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's my tongue's spicy. on fire. <laughs> Water. Oh my God. It tastes good. This is like a good lunchtime bagel. I would have never ordered this bagel, and now I will without the spice. I gotta drink more water. I love the spice. These are the kind of peppers that while they're spicy, they're still very flavorful. And finally. You got your lox, everything bagel, tomato, lettuce, onion. There's capers in here too. I can't even get my mouth around it. It's a thick boy. 
You're gonna have to listen to that sound later when you edit, so. Yeah. A lox bagel is a pretty classic New York kind of sandwich, right? Yeah, and the lox are good here. For me, the flavors were on point, and the bagel was crunch smush. Perfect. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, Dakota, I'm ready for more bagels. Let's, Let's S some more bagels. E-S-S. -S. We're not gonna suck on bagels. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> How you doing? My name is Scott Spellman. You're at Utopia Bagels in Whitestone, Queens, where we make bagels the old-fashioned way. Hand roll, kettle boil. Welcome to my house. A good bagel needs at least 24 hours in refrigeration, and it needs to be hand rolled. And that's something of a dying breed that's happening these days. There's not too many people that do it the old-fashioned way. You have your formula. You will put it in a mixer, and we use 200 pounds at a time, which will produce about 1,000 bagels. They are mixed, hand rolled. They'll get proofed before they'll be placed in a kettle, which is boiling water. We'll seed or season our boards. We'll place those boards in the oven. Then about another eight to 10 minutes, they'll be ready to be tasted. We uh, sell close to 70,000 bagels a week. We're about quality. That's really what we're about here at Utopia Bagels. My hand rollers have been rolling for over 20 years. My oven's from 1947. So these are things that you, you can't replicate anyplace else. We put a lot of love and care into every step of making our bagel. And that's what really makes our bagel special. Really nice dark caramel color on both sides. I know you don't care about this, but I can see some bubbles. Okay. <laughs> I love it when there's a little bit of bubbling on the bread. It's nice, it's shiny. It gives me a good impression of the bread right away. Yeah. This one is super chewy. Like, to take that bite, I really had to work. Is it worth the work? Mm-hmm. Okay. I really like the dough in this. Just like a, a good, dense bagel. When I'm listening to it, there's not like a crunch. It goes, uh -huh. it's right into the like chew. Flavor is great. Big fan of flavor all around the bagel. It's also hard because like trying to find something to critique about all these amazing bagels. We're getting really granular. So if you didn't know, this bagel shop was featured in an episode of Worth It a couple years ago. And huh. they've actually, they've named a sandwich after that episode. And it's, and it's, it's popular. This big boy right here. This is the worth it. Thanks, Stephen and Andrew, for having a bagel named after you. Bagel, of course, lox, cream cheese, tomatoes, red onions, and capers. I know this is crazy to say, mm -hmm. but it tastes healthy. <laughs> the lox, the tomatoes, very fresh. Like I just went to a garden with okay. fish. Let's try out one of these. So we got all these bagels. Let's just rip this back. All right. One thing that really stands out about all these bagels is that they're all so fresh and warm. It's so clear they're making so many bagels all the time. There's so much to go for here. How does anyone ever come in here and not get crippled with choice? This birthday cake cream cheese is to die for. Oh! We're gonna make spaces in our, we're gonna make pockets in our stomach. Wait, can't you do it like this? Do you go like, like it like forces it down. Pretty sure that's what. Uh... All right, let's go. Caramel. Um, I'm full. <laughs> I think we need to decide which bagel was the best, though. And it's gonna be tough to do so because, frankly, all of the bagel places are really, really yes, good. Definitely. And I would recommend going to any and all of them if you have the time. Oh, 100%. Should we say it at the same time? Okay, three, two, one. one. Trader bagel Joe's Grocery hole. Store oh bagels. Oh my God. That I'm kidding, it's, one it's Bagel, bagel hole. hole. It's Bagel, bagel hole. hole. If you're looking for the perfect New York bagel, this is it. It was size, taste, crunch smoosh sound. Like it, it had everything and it's a goddamn perfect bagel. Bagel hole is interesting because they only do the basics and they do those perfectly. Yeah. I couldn't ask for a better New York bagel. And I honestly ate the most bagels there. Yeah, we had a bag to go and they're all gone. <laughs> this just makes me love this city more. I love this city and I love their bagels. This city is a bagel and the bagels fill the hole in your heart. We've done it. We've found the bagel. You can stop looking. I've been Dakota. I've been Sarah and I, I still am Sarah. Thank you for watching. This has been the quest for the best. I'm gonna get another bagel from Bagel Hole. Okay, Do you want bye.
I realize that's in Brooklyn. I can't get there fast yeah, enough. Yeah, take the subway. Okay, that's that way. 